Hi, I'm Tammy Bilestein. Welcome to Tammy's Window on Calaveras. I have with me tonight two very young and very handsome young men. That's why you girls pay attention. <laughs> Heads up. <laughs> they are from the Murphy's Creek Theater, and they're uh, doing the play Arsenic and Old Lace. So we have director John Dambacker. Becker, say it for me. Dambacker. Dambacker. Are you sure? Because I don't have to... It's great. <laughs> Sure. I'm pretty sure. <laughs> and, I'm mispronouncing it. <laughs> John is the director and Raja Forstner. Yes. Yeah. Did I say yep, that correctly? Yep, he's perfect. Okay. <laughs> and he is the lead actor in this play. So I'm so happy to have you guys with us. Thank you very Thank much you for, for having being us. here. Thank you. This is your first time for both of you being here at the mm -hmm. station? Yes. Yes. Both of us. Yes. Yeah. Is yeah. it your first time doing a play over at Murphy's Creek Theater? Uh, it's for me. Is his it? first, but I've been I've worked there a couple of times. A, a couple of times, yeah. yeah. As a director, mm -hmm. um, have you ever acted? Uh, I am ashamed to say, when I was like a little kid, I was yeah. one of those abominable little creatures with like a baton, and you know it was bad. <laughs> <laughs> a look at me, look at me thing like that. No, or? it was just it was it was shouldn't have been called acting. It was just. Acting a fool, <laughs> but no, I'm I'm not an actor. I'm not okay. an actor. Alrighty, alrighty. And how about you? Have you been doing this all your life? Yeah, I, I started in fifth grade, um, and I just kind of found a passion for it right away. Uh, I went to Waldorf, which is kind of an artsy middle school yeah. to begin with, and they kind of got me started beforehand. I went to a public school where I wasn't super into it. Uh -huh. um, but this is my first out of high school play, so that's wow. pretty exciting. How exciting! Yeah. How exciting! Are either of you from Calaveras originally? No, I was born in Santa Barbara. Okay. And I moved to Sonora um, about when I was one years old. Yeah. Okay. All right. All right. And you've been here ever since yeah. then. Okay. Mm -hmm. And how about you? I'm not. Um, I have family who's here, but um, I moved. I've lived here twice. Mm hmm. I moved here from Los Angeles in 2013, Yeah. and I worked in the theaters up here, and then moved to Chicago, and then I've been back for a little while to wow. direct the show okay. and to write some books and sort of relax for a... Really? A, try to relax, but it doesn't work. <laughs> My gosh, you guys have a lot going on. <laughs> so, so, John, how do you choose, or do you choose what play you want to direct, or does Murphy's Creek Theater send out a notice that they're looking for a director? and Or do they call you personally? Or how does that work? Well, I can only speak for myself. I, um, uh, I All of the above. Um, okay. I've been approached for this particular piece. Um, I did a play a couple years ago for them that did pretty well that... Um, they liked, I Which guess. Which one was it? It was called God of Carnage. Oh. Um, it was a new play. It had never been done, never been produced in this area, uh -huh. uh, which is exciting for me. Yeah. Because um, I like to do shows that either are brand new that nobody's seen in a specific area mm -hmm. or reinvent something that we think we all know, like this play. Oh, and I can't wait to ask you what you sure. are doing with this <laughs> sure. play. Sure. Um, let me find out about yeah, yeah. About Roger first. So are you someone who they knew they wanted in the next play, or do you audition for a play? So usually you would be auditioning. Okay. Um, John specifically picked me out. I, um, my grandmother is involved in the theater, and he knows my grandmother, uh -huh. so he knew me from that. Um, but usually, yeah, you would be going to some sort of audition. But I also, I, don't forget the, the workshop. Oh, I, right. I, uh, hosted a couple years ago a workshop where he was in it and um, one of the great things about that is you get to see talent that rises above other right. talent yeah, <laughs> and stuff that's more memorable than some other people mm -hmm. and um, I said oh I remember this you know him specifically and I said all right I know that if I was going to do this play with what we're going to do with it, yeah. I need someone who's fearless like Raja is. That's neat. And so I grabbed him as quick as I could and made sure that he was free Yeah. and threw him a contract and said, you're not going anywhere for a while. 
What is the commitment? What is the commitment for a play? It's a, this one was longer. Yeah, it's this one was about three months and uh, more, more like two and a half maybe. But sometimes it's just short, like yeah. a couple weeks. One of the th one of the things um, that was important to me negotiating to do this show is mm -hmm. it's such an involved piece. Yeah. There's so many people and there's so much stuff that happens in the show yeah. that you need the time to really make it great. Yeah. You know, um, so often we only get three, four weeks to do an entire show. Wait, when you say three to four weeks, do you mean for it to run at the theater or three to four weeks from the time you start rehearsing? That means like the moment the director meets the actors. No way. <laughs> I mean, provided this person isn't pre like very well prepared, very often in theater, you have three, four weeks to mount the show, design the everything. Oh my god! Props, costumes, the set is sometimes still drying. I mean, this is only <laughs> in like the worst case scenarios. We were just talking, oh. about. but that is essentially one hundred percent not what we're going to do with the show. Okay, is it was essential that if I'm going to have these people. Commit, mm -hmm. and we got started in December. Yeah, and it's now what almost mid Middle February. February. So they've been meeting. I've wrangled these people out of their homes, and we've been meeting regularly um, to make the show the best possible thing that we possibly can That's produce. That's incredible. Yeah. Okay, for one thing, I cannot believe that you can memorize lines that quickly. Mm. Yeah, he's got a lot of them too. <laughs> yeah, I bet. Yeah. I bet. How do you do it? Is there a trick to memorizing all those lines? I, I, I can barely remember the name of my own show. Yeah. So. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I it kind of just for me, it's I feel like everyone who you talk to, it's a different thing. But I won't have them, and I won't have them, and I won't have them, and I'm like, oh god, I don't uh -huh. have them, and then all of a sudden I'm just like, oh shoot, it I, just I just got them. Yeah, wow. I mean, it's weird. That I, is so. Cool. But yeah, I just like reading over them a bunch of times, and I have this like line learner app where I can like. Say my that like my Q line and then my line and then I can like have it so it doesn't say my line or it says yeah. my line after. So, so Whoa. yeah, that's fascinating. Yeah. That's neat. It, <laughs> advancements of technology, yeah, exactly. No. But also tell them too, you've got so much, you've got so much uh, business to do. The, the the actual business in the play, aside from the words. Oh right, that yeah. is the thing that we're. That for me as a director, that's the most important thing. Like the, the substance the of the play. Like the movements and yeah. the, all of that. Yeah, and they're just like sub subconscious stuff between characters, okay. and you know, eighty percent of communicating is 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 your right. body, right. And, and yeah, so much much so much more of acting is is what you're doing with your body and yeah. how you feel and less so like the words that are on the paper. Yeah. yeah. Are you one of those people that has to, you don't have to pretend the whole time the play is running that you are your character, like even outside of the theater? You like, you turn it on and you turn it off? Is that how you do it? Yeah, I, I, I like to, to be like Raja mm -hmm. character. And I, a lot of times I, I won't even come out um, in costume after yeah. a show because I, I really like that distinct like okay. I was up there and that was not yeah. me. I bet your family appreciates that. Yeah. I watched this uh, thing on Jim Carrey, this documentary <sighs> on him. I just saw that. Yeah, it's really good. Yeah, good but wow. I can never live with someone like that. Right. So, yeah. <laughs> anyway, that's so cool that you, that you do that. Yeah. So while he's doing all of this, are you in charge of people doing the backgrounds and the, the sets and everything? So you have that going on, and the background going on, and everything else happening at the same time. Yep. You must be the most disciplined, <laughs> focused person. Uh, that sounds great. Yeah. <laughs> no, I uh, actually, it's just, we've been talking about this stuff. Um, there's a lot. There's a lot to the job, mm -hmm. especially, again, when you start that early. Yeah. You know, because you have pre-production meetings, and you've got to be able to tell you know, the prop gal that asks, what color socks does he bring in? Not the one he's wearing, but the one he brings in. Oh, and gosh. like, you know, it's like, what kind of, what size book do you want for that scene? Do you want the, the giant book, the blue book? What kind, no. you know? So you've <laughs> got to be able to answer all of those questions down to what type of, you know, what material the carpet is, you know? Really? Well, I mean, wow. if you really, if you care about the work, you really, every aspect tells your story. 
Oh, Every okay. aspect, you know what I mean? Yeah, I was you're like, right. He was saying with body language. Yeah. Because uh, you're talking about maybe a certain time period or a certain class of people or sure. things like that that would, sure. the materials would matter. Things mm -hmm. like well, that. Certainly, yeah. but it's also, it creates, that's what character really is. Because mm -hmm. you don't, you know, you don't have, you don't open a script and out falls a character. <laughs> uh, you know, it's, it's, to quote Oscar Wilde, mm -hmm. uh, every action creates character. Yeah. You know, so it's yeah. down to the clothes you're wearing, to your hair, to the way you knock on the door. Mm -hmm. You know, everything is is tells your story if yeah. you really if you really care about it. Wow. So when you go and you are auditioning all these people, mm -hmm. do you have a a big pool to choose from around here, or are they the same couple of people that go out for every play? There is a crowd, a community mm -hmm. theater crowd, okay. but you can usually get. Some people. I mean, it's your question, but there are, there are people who come from outside of town to the yeah. place. Yeah, a okay. lot. Yeah, um, we always need people. Always. Do you? And always need people uh, to come to the theater. And even I mean, that's the, how a company, any company, but specifically a theater company, thrives mm -hmm. because you need that person in high school or in elementary school that says, hey, I love to paint, I love to sew costumes, you right. know? And you can nurture those people and turn their skill and craft into a job. Yeah. That's how I got started, you know? I mean, that's huh. for sure. You know what this is making me think of? It's a teeny bit off track, but my, my son used to get into trouble at regular <laughs> high school. He liked to smoke weed and stuff. And so he was sent over to um, the alternative high schools uh -huh. in, in Calaveras. But when he went there, at first I was like, oh, my gosh, I don't know if I want him going to these schools. Like, what kind of kids are there? They were actually the most creative kids sure. that were at these alternative schools. Sure. They were good at working with their hands and seeing things different, differently than everybody else. And book learning might not have been their thing. Maybe it was. But um, for some of these kids, it was... Stuff like what you guys are looking for, it sounds like. Do you yeah. ever go there and do a, um, we have. like a job fair sort of thing? Not job fair, what would it be called? Yeah, like I, I don't know. Did I, did I come to the school when you were there? Mm -mm. No. I, I mean, I, I've, uh, yeah? we've definitely done that. Other theater companies have done that where you go to the schools and say, hey, listen, we've got workshops and this stuff. Right. It should happen more, really. Oh, because what you guys are doing is so cool. It really is. And it, we it really is. need to find more of these kids for, from our local area to come and totally. participate in these, and they're these productions. They're welcome to come down. Yeah. You know, I, I mean, like I said, I'm not an employee of the theater, but I'm mm. certain that they won't turn in anyone right. away. Right. Right. Oh, that's so neat. It, it is sad how many kids are out there who have talent and have a drive, but yeah. probably wouldn't have, won't find it. You know, right. they might people not even in schools know. like that. Yeah. yeah, they might even know it exists. Or some of them have low self-esteem because they were sent there for yeah. whatever reason, and they're feeling kind of down about themselves. But boy, what you guys are doing can really build somebody up. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, it's like... I feel like it's so much bigger than <laughs> like what just the play. What you guys do is so big. Yeah. Absolutely. I mean, there's a reason this this profession's been around for so long. Yeah. You know, um, it's not just. I mean, there are places that just provide entertainment, mm -hmm. um, and they don't care about the type of carpet. You know what yeah. I mean? Yeah. Yeah. But that's not what we're interested in. Right. You know, because you yeah. can you can create something that's simple and and just easy to consume, yeah. like this show typically is um, thought of. Is it? Yeah. Um, but it matters to you guys. But it totally, I mean, it's like, especially if you can find new events, mm -hmm. you know, you can do something and have an experience that you can, if you're watching something that's really good and mm -hmm. you can tell that some, like an actor like Raja really cares about what's right, happening, right. that he's processed everything he's doing, mm -hmm. he's not just saying words. Yeah that someone in the audience is going to say, ah, I know that guy, I am that guy. Right. And right. that's, that's yeah. what makes it worth it. Oh, totally. I mean, you guys can bring emotions out of people that they, yeah. they're just sitting there watching you. They're so totally. neat. What power you have, mm -hmm. huh? Yeah, coming <laughs> coming you, out. Both of you. <laughs> yeah, coming out after the show, and, and sometimes he will come up to you and, and just seeing how it moved them. Yeah. And it's almost a little bit, like, shocking. You're like, whoa, I, I did that. Yeah. yeah. 
Oh, that's so cool. Yeah. You guys were, were saying that the the production you're doing of Arsenic and Old Lace is a little different than what we've seen on television. The Entirely old... different. Yeah. Who was it? Is it Cary Grant that was in? Yeah. Yeah, Cary Grant. Love him. <laughs> yeah, and Frank Capra, you know. Um, I, hey, he's one of my favorites. Yeah. I love Frank Capra, but unfortunately we couldn't afford him. <laughs> You know? So what did you do to change it up a little bit? Oh, everything we possibly could. Really? Absolutely. In my opinion, I don't. You should yeah. really talk on this one. But uh, you think it modern? Or? No, no, no. It's still mm. in, it's still set in 1940 okay. in Brooklyn in the same Victorian house that is cliche that we all know. Uh -huh. But the objective has been to avoid and reject all cliche. Yeah. How so do you that, do that so that it's it's. This literally will be an original, entirely original production of Arsenic and Old Lace. Cool. Because this isn't, we've forbade them from watching the film. Really? Okay. Words, I don't know. The, no other production, <laughs> you know, if you Google this show, uh -huh. it's not going to look anything like the show we're okay. doing. Um, right. What are some examples of that, pal? I would say it's mostly with how we take the lines. Yeah. Like... Uh, there's these two aunts, mm -hmm. and they are killing people, and uh, they have like a hostel type house where people come and stay, right. and then they take them out of their misery. Uh -huh. um, and when I confront them about this huge deal, because I'm their nephew, mm -hmm. it's kind of written where they're just like, "Oh, it's okay. We're just the sweet aunts here. Like yeah. nothing matters." But but we're kind of taking it more so that there's actual depth behind them. And they're not just like these, these cardboard cutouts of people who are supposed to get the laugh because they're not surprised by the dead bodies. Uh -huh. It's like actual, like why are they killing people? Like what's going on in their heads? Oh. Like that kind of stuff. Yeah, yeah. I don't remember that in the movie. It's nowhere in the movie. No. And like I'll tell you, you know, for him specifically, his role, he's playing Mortimer, mm -hmm. um, who's the, the young guy, the Cary Grant role. Yeah. Um, for me, reading that script when I first read it, I said, well, this is not essentially, this isn't a, a, a story about old ladies killing people. That happens mm -hmm. to be the other thing that's going on. Essentially, what's at the heart of that story is these two young lovers. Mm -hmm. She, this girl, Elaine, played by Ayla Buck, fantastic local actress, similar age, you know. Mm -hmm. Another one that I had a workshop with a couple years ago mm -hmm. and I remembered her. Um, Ayla is playing opposite Raja, mm -hmm. and the whole time what she's doing is saying, listen, I want to be with you. I want to marry you. Mm -hmm. You want to be with me. I know you want to be with me, but there's this thing you're not telling me. Mm -hmm. So when we all sat down, the first, first meeting we had, we all threw on the table just as an icebreaker, what is a deal breaker? in a relationship for you. And we all went around the table and shared. Mm -hmm. Everybody, crew everybody. Yeah. And have been chewing on those things subconsciously, you know, as, because that's essentially what is happening, is he's saying, I want to be with you, but mm -hmm. I can't tell you who I really am and this yeah, family this history. Come mm -hmm. from. Yeah. <laughs> Otherwise you'll kick rocks, you know, yeah. you'll be out of here. But he wants to be with her. So she's continuously bringing him out of the darkness into the light. Yeah. So one of the themes that we've got for the show, again going to the carpet idea, yeah. is what happens when you let the light in? And all the designers, from the sound guy to the prop people, mm -hmm. that's the theme that they're working with. Why? You know, and as and as, as theoretic and analytical as you want to get with mm -hmm. that theme, yeah. it's just something for us to chew on. Wow. Deep. I didn't well, know all this. Had, does this normally happen behind the scenes? Not normally, right? Because you guys are <laughs> changing that. I, w I would say that John is is pretty intent on making it different and yeah. getting deep and getting to the you know the subconscious yeah. level and more so than others. That's really neat. It probably makes it easier for you, I guess. Oh, yeah. More difficult for you. No, no, no. So easier. much easier because yeah. you you know that that he's there to answer your question and yeah. actually like get psychological with you and not yeah. just be like the director who's like, oh, do this. Yeah, and stand then, over there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Over there, yeah. Although, what's interesting about that, not to harp too long on the directing side of it, but every actor's different. 
-hmm. and every actor needs something different. Yeah. Right. It's like it's like a room of your family members. Yeah. You know, one family member responds this way, mm -hmm. but you know that family member responds in a totally different oh, way. Yeah. So oh, Raja, yeah. <laughs> Raja and I, before we even started on this, would sit down and just have conversations about relationships mm -hmm. and about, hey, have you ever messed up and wish you hadn't have done something like right. that or whatever it is? You know, not to get too personal about it, but. Yeah. So what do he tell you? What do he mess up? <laughs> no, no, no. I, my job is to protect him completely. But um, uh, you would say to one actor, "Go over there, pick that up, run upstairs, and yeah. blow the bugle." Yeah. But mm -hmm. another actor wants, like Raja, who I'm so thankful he's this way, wants to get into the depth of something. Yeah. You know, whereas yeah. other people are just like, no interest. Yeah. That's okay. You have to know how to work. Mm -hmm. The angle. So I know you say you don't want to take, take too much time on directing, really, but that makes me wonder, to be a director, what kind of... I'm thinking all the different kinds of background you have to have. Yeah. You have to know how to work... You have to know the whole acting thing, how a theater works, all that behind-the-scenes stuff, but you, like you said, you work with so many different personalities. Sure. And not to be rude... But I've heard that actors can be no, <laughs> difficult yeah. people Certainly. to work with. Not this one. <laughs> Not, Not this one. one. I was, I'm was. i so blessed with this cast, I have to yeah. tell you. They've cool. been so really great. Nice but, cool. um, yeah, one needs to, if like, again, uh, with the carpet idea, is mm -hmm. the any artist, right, mm -hmm. the broader you can, exp more, you know, the, the further you can expand your canvas, the certainly the better. Yeah. You know, because if you know about this and you've, done this and you've done this, experimented. Yeah, it doesn't look too linear on a page mm -hmm. in the course of lifetime, but all of those things are an education. Yeah. You know, so if you can what talk. About your education, do you do you have to study psychology or or how do you handle all these different personalities? When they all you guys obviously have Big, strong personalities, right? To be able to get up there on stage and he do does. what you do. He does. Okay. I'm, t I'm a little, I'm a little <laughs> modest mouse. <laughs> I don't know. I just don't see how you guys do it. I could never do that. Um, Boy. But no, I no, I. In terms of psychology, that's part of the job. You know, is you uh, create the events as a, a director creates mm -hmm. the events of a play. Yeah while turning psychology into behavior, right? It's like if bringing out the, it's like the, the interior mm -hmm. making it exterior, mm -hmm. right? So um, if you're a character that is down and whatever, yeah. well, that's going to show. Right. Right. So it's like the girl he plays opposite of. She's the brightest thing on that right. stage. Yeah, I remember that. She's yeah. in yellow. Aww. She's got black and white saddle shoes, <laughs> and everyone else is in drab colors mm. because that's the theme of the play, yeah. of bringing him into the, the light. Yeah. So you've got yeah. to use every possible way, whether it's psychology, whether it's color, whether it's song, you know, yeah. whatever the mood is, whatever the objective is, the story is, mm. you tell it any way you can. That is so neat. That is so neat. Are you both gonna? Are you plan on? Do you plan on doing other productions at Murphy's Creek Theater after this one? Do you think ahead, or is it just this is right now, and they don't plan that far ahead? What do you? How does that work? Uh, for me personally, I if I was given the opportunity to do another show, I would for sure do another show. Mm -hmm. um, but I don't have a plan to. There's no show like set up. Okay. Um, but, yeah, I, I think when you're in a show, that's definitely the main thing you're thinking about. But you've always yeah. got to be, you know, thinking ahead of what you're going to yeah. line up. Like, they would never make you audition for another play while you're doing a play, right? Like, oh, it happens. I mean, oh, so really? You, you can, yeah. But I, I, I'm not going to be doing that. Yeah. <laughs> well, again, yeah. we were talking on the way over here. It's like about being selective with the work, mm -hmm. you know. Um, and that's really, really important. Because I bet, yeah. you could take anything somebody throws at you. And make something great with it, right. but um, it's really uh, it's it's nice to be in a position to choose what you do. I would think that is the most important because you can make him look good, and you can make him look good. Yeah. So 
Well, yeah. it, can, it, can be, right? <laughs> it can be nice to choose, but it can also be hard to choose. This is the first time that I've been put in a situation, and I'm sure that I'll be put in many more like this in my career if I continue to pursue, where uh, I have a director who doesn't rely on me, but I've just been in a lot of their shows because it's high school shows. Mm -hmm. And then I told him, hey, I'm, I just got my first out of high school play. I'm going to be going to you know, be the lead. And I was like, he's really ex expecting him to be excited. And then he gets mad at me uh. for not being in this play of his anymore. You know what uh. I mean? Um, so it's, huh. you kind of have that, you're put in situations where you might hurt someone's feelings for yeah. picking something else, which is kind of wow. hard. But yeah. Yeah, I don't consider something like the that. The perils of being in demand. Right, right. That was <laughs> so <rough>. exhausting. <laughs> Is no, it's it, true. <laughs> high school. Which high school were you at? Was it in Tuolumne? Yeah, Somerville. Okay. Yeah. Very Which cool. isn't uh, like an arts school, yeah? Yeah, I, well, uh, connections. So there's connections which, which is within Somerville, and it's uh, visual arts. Yeah. Okay. Oh, that's so neat, you guys. Mm -hmm. Now, we only have like three minutes left. For people okay. who want to go see this play, when is it going to run? Do you have any idea how much the tickets cost, and how do people get the tickets? Tell yes. us all those, that basic stuff that we need to know. All of those things. It's at Murphy's Creek Theater, which is in mm -hmm. Murphy's, California. Um, the show, Arsenic and Old Lace, mm -hmm. runs March 2nd through the 25th. That's coming up quick. Yeah. And it's uh, Friday, Saturday at 7 p.m. Okay. each weekend. And Sunday at 2 p.m. Matinee okay. on Sunday. Matinee on Sunday. And tickets vary between... There's 20. student prices, there's senior prices, there's, mm. you know... All sorts okay. of prices. They're in the fifteen to twenty dollar range. Oh, super reasonable. Oh. Yeah. Good date night. Yeah. Very yeah. good date, and it'll open a conversation. Yeah, for sure. I am sure. For I am sure. sure. Darn it, we're running out of time. <laughs> this went by so fast. Mm -hmm. It did. Yeah, <laughs> you guys are super um, entertaining and informative. I mean, the things that you taught me about what happens behind the scenes is are really cool. Well, and I hope you guys do follow through. I mean, you both are just so young and energetic, and I love the <laughs> passion you have for what you're doing and the other kids and even adults that you could influence to yep. um, come and join you. I think you guys really have that power. You guys are awesome. Thank you. Ooh. We appreciate having yeah. us. Thank you. Oh, I'm so glad you came. Come back again. When you do your next plays, both of you, because I know you'll both be doing it again. <laughs> that works. <laughs> so, and, um, oh, since we do have like another minute left, when people want to get their tickets, they go online, call? Excuse me, yes. Mm -hmm. um, what is it? Murphy's Sorry, Creek Theater, R-E at the end, dot org. Dot org, okay. Yeah, and they've got a Facebook page and all that stuff. Okay. Murphy's Creek Theater dot org. You guys, look that up. Go get your tickets. Make it a date night. These guys... Well, I can't wait to see what you guys have done. Huh? I'm going to ring my hubby. <laughs> Thank you two for being here. Thank, Thank you for having Please us. come back. We will. Thank you for what you're doing. Cheers. Okay. Uh, hey, I'll see you guys next time. Thank you for joining us on Tammy's Window on Calaveras. <laughs>